set the pace when I'm running. I always. Namaste, friends. So today is chapter 102 in the entire Python, and you know we have been going over pandas. So in panda, this is lesson two, and the series and data frame final part part two. Yesterday we saw what a series is and what are data frames. Remember, the series is a column which is like one dimensional. The data frame is like a table, multi dimensional. So we actually saw how to actually you know put it in series, how to actually take a particular element, how to create a data element, and where is this panda used. So we saw all those things, right? So today is a continuation of this. So it can actually hold anything. So yesterday we also saw how to actually locate a particular row. Correct. So today we are going to be doing more here. So what we will be doing is let's actually take a code and let's actually dissect it. And we have some things to do as well. So what I will do is I'll actually copy paste this. So import pandas as PD. So this is data. So this is calorie. This is a duration. We saw that. So 0, 1, 2. So 0, 1, 2. So if you need something, then we say index and then we actually do it. And then we say PD dot data frame. So this is a data frame and we read this entire data. And we want to locate location. This is location. Okay. So locate only 0. So this is going to be 420 and 50. Okay. Any questions there? It's going to be 420 and 50. And the data type is this thing. So you can also say index x comma y comma zero. So instead of that, it's going to give us this. Okay. So that is what it is. So here, if you see this locate row, I have df this dot location of zero is there. So the zero comma one will actually give me. 420, 50, 380, 40. Okay, agreed. There is nothing wrong here, right? This is exactly what it is. If I say here, you know, say suppose index of, um, you know, uh, x comma y, then it is going to give me something different. All right. See here, exactly the same. So if you want, this is exactly what I've been telling, index, index, and index. I have the same thing. So the same data frame. Okay, the same data frame instead of printing this location in this data, I say comma index, I say equals day one, day two, day three. So this becomes day one, day two, day three. And then when I say print entire thing, it is going to give me day one, day two, day three. This also we saw and we also called this as labeling. All right. Okay, fine. What we are also be going to be doing here is in today's lecture. Now say suppose if you want to actually locate a particular day here after like all these indexes and stuff. If you want to do a day two, it is going to give me 318 40. This is location. So location of one. Look, this is location zero, location one, this thing. So this is location of day two. Okay, this is exactly what it is giving. I'm going to actually do something which is called loading the files into a data frame. Okay, so here we have actually gradually improving. So this is called loading the files in the data frame. I have a file here. Okay, so this is how the data is and I have a file. So let me actually copy paste it. So as you know, I use the Anaconda. So the Anaconda, the way I would actually go here is I would go here, I'll go to a new and then I'll say text file. So in the text file, what I will do is I'll actually copy paste. If you see like I have 170. Okay, I have 170 and this is like, you know, uh, somewhat jumbled up. So I don't worry about it. I will actually delete and I will actually do it here. And what I will do is I will actually do it in this manner. And then uh, I'm actually saving your data. I'm actually saving a data. This data can be in any format. This is where the panda really begins. The location index okay that any person can actually do but this is where the panda really begins and then what i'm going to be saying is i'm going to be renaming this as i'm going to say keyword test data um i'm going to say one okay i'm going to say keyword test data one uh 
I can I can actually I can actually say this okay or uh, keyword uh, instead of test data I can say English data one because I also record in Tamil so I can say English data one because the more and more data sets we'll be using under the name of keyword and then this keeps on increasing okay I'm going to say okay and I'm going to be say save it so this has been saved okay so this is a txt file so what i will do here is see this see this data okay you saw this data right it's like 170 there is no question here so this is here i go to my this thing and then i take it and then what i do is this is very simple i say import pandas and then i say read my cfe csv okay which is a comma separated file even though i gave it as a text okay i'm going to do two things here what i'm going to say is keyword english data one so even though i given it as a cs text dot txt let's see whether it is actually running with the csv okay because this is read csv okay so let's see it is because since it is not found it says not found so i will actually change this to txt so keyword english data one okay so now if i say run So keyword K E English data one right keyword English data one dot txt. So what I can do is I can run this. Uh, something wrong here. So what I can do here is I can say this txt print. So the print this thing is not going to work. Or what I can do is I can say read csv okay let me actually take this and do this again some error is going because it should read the data it has index names it says a bunch of things no such file or directory it says there is no such file or directory which is not right okay so this is k e e v a a t h english data one dot txt so the only thing that i can do is uh, <clears throat> let's let's actually try this again and then maybe i'll remove the txt okay what i'll do is i'll actually remove this txt here because i know the data is here and i'm not sure what is actually happening see here so if i don't give the txt this is actually red so this is exactly what it is so this is how you have to do so read the csv keyword english and if you see like 169 rows times four column it has actually given me everything this is my labeling you see how i actually you know save this and then read it this is how we actually load the data into the csv and this is how it actually displays so this is the way anaconda actually takes all right uh, so let's actually stop here so i I trust you have actually seen my lecture, probably liked it. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, kindly contact me. I'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities. Like always, I'd like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. The other is my wife, Jayashree, for allowing me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>